Hi, I'm Chef Jessica, and for this month's local flavor segment, I'm at the St. Augustine Flea Market to learn more about the Berry Stacks, Hydroponic Gardening, and You Pick Farms. Tell us why you decided to start this farm. The farm is the brainchild of John Alexa, who owns the flea market property that we're on. Um, he wanted something to be unique for St. Augustine, partake in some of the agritourism that's uh, becoming stronger in the area, and still have an attraction for the flea market, maybe bring a few more people in for the vendors. What do you grow here, Robert, and, and how much of it do you grow? Uh, we're primarily strawberries. We planted uh, 23,750 strawberry plants. Wow. <laughs> uh, we have two different varieties. One's a smaller, sweeter variety, and then a larger long stem variety for people who care to dip or show their strawberries. The children do tend to prefer this variety, which is the Strawberry Festival, and the Camarosa can produce just a, a huge berry. Um, we also grow a variety of herbs and other vegetables. Um, although occasionally you'll see flowers intermixed in, um, where we're trying to control insects. What exactly is hydroponic farming and how does it work? Well, there's probably a dozen or more different ways to hydroponically farm. Uh, some of it involves uh, reclaiming the nutrient, recycling it. Um, they've come up with um, aquaculture now to where the fish are actually providing the nutrient for the plants and it's a constant cycle. But for our purposes out here in a parking lot, basically. We um, saturate the stacks four times a day with nutrient. Every time we water, we feed, and um, we get very little or no loss from the bottom. As you can see, the stacks turn, so we can always face them to the sun, and that's one advantage. I'll have uh, somebody come through and spin all the stacks halfway around once a week and catch uh, the sun on the dark side comes over onto the bright side. So it's also an advantage for when people are harvesting because when they've clipped all the great berries off of one side, they can just flip it around and take a look and see what's on the other side. So when you're watering your plants, um, is it just normal water or what, what do you feed them? We're feeding these plants a liquid fertilizer similar to what you think of as miracle Grow, although a different formulation. It has micronutrients in it. Um, we add a calcium to prevent blossom end rot, which can occur with fruit and vegetables. And we uh, control the pH to uh, 6.0, 6.1 with a light acid that we mix all together. It'll push down this white tube four times a day and then run through this black tube that you see in the top of each one of these planter stacks and feed so many minutes so many ounces with increasing heat right now and evaporation from breezes we can minutely adjust the time up or down to ensure that the entire stack is getting the saturation it needs without wasting water or nutrient through the bottoms which uh, of course would be a form of pollution wow so you're really very efficient in how you do this extremely the ability to grow so much food on so small an area is something that everyone should look at. Growing vertically is just a smart idea. What exactly is a UPIC farm? Uh, a UPIC farm, we don't do any commercial or wholesaling through our farm, not at this point. Uh, we have planting spaces, spaces for about 30,000 plants out here. We're finding that we're getting such a, a good word of mouth response and uh, people are so excited for us to have hydroponics in the area that they're coming through and virtually picking me out every weekend. I could have this field of strawberries totally picked out by Sunday night, and by the next Thursday when we open, uh, there'll be plenty of berries for everyone. Are there any special instructions you give your customers when they come out to pick the berry? We do indeed. You see, I've been using these scissors. Um, we insist that when harvesting a berry, they take a portion of the stem. And again, this provides more berry growth throughout the season. If you just pull the berries off, the plants tend to think that their their purpose is over and they'll, they won't produce berries. What do you enjoy the most about running a hydroponic farm? Uh, it's got to be the people. Uh, everybody who comes out is so excited. I've seen people actually skipping between these rows. They're so excited to see freshly grown hydroponic produce 
that is just so so vibrant. And they can go in with their scissors and clip all the way through this farm, be it tomatoes or kale or Swiss chard or strawberries. And um, they are just delighted to go out through the door with their uh, basket of groceries and they, they keep coming back. You can find out more about the Berry Stacks and what's in season now on their Facebook page. We're fortunate to have such wonderful agriculture here in North Florida and so many great flavors to explore. Until next time, I'm Chef Jessica.